Hi there. Today we're going to talk about the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant, you know, when you first look at him, he looks like a religious figure. He looks like he could be a pope or some type of high priest. And that is the type of feeling they were giving off, I think, when they created this many moons ago. But to me, in today's day and age, he means so much more. So I see the Hierophant as an authority of all things. And this could include spiritual things, but it also includes our traditions, our morals, our values, our never ending search for knowledge. He includes everything. He is the connection between all things regarding your inner illumination and your outer experience. He is the interpreter of the mysteries of the unseen and his job is to teach us. He teaches us with his passion and his thirst, his never ending search for knowledge. So let's start out with what's happening in the card. The first thing you see is you see this, this gorgeous figure uh, between these two stone pillars. Now, first of all, these stone columns represent stability and permanence, and the color gray is the color of wisdom. If you notice that there is no veil as there was in the high priestess, there's no veil between the Hierophant's columns, which means that knowledge is flowing freely and openly in this space. He wears this gorgeous triple crown. If you look through all of the tarot cards, you will not see another crown like this. The triple crown is definitely a, you know, a note showing how significant and how important his role in society is. It can have religious reference of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, the three levels. It can also mean body, mind, and spirit. Or you could just take it completely on a non-religious level and look at the vibrancy and radiance and energy that comes off this crown, this golden crown. It's just full of energy and wisdom. Now on top of the crown, there is a letter W, and that is a reference to the Hebrew letter Vav, which I'm gonna circle back to in just one moment. So I'm gonna take you from the top all the way to the bottom of the card where we have the black and white um, tiles on the floor, which is a symbol of duality. And that's what this card really is. It is a symbol of the duality of our lives, of the black and the white that separate our day. We notice there's a lot of gray, the masculine and the feminine, the heart and the mind, the passive and the aggressive sides of ourselves, and also the intuitive and the logical way our mind thinks. Now, the vav that's above works as like a hook or a nail. That's what it stands for. And in the um, in the two dualities that I mentioned to you, it works as the word and. So it's the masculine and the feminine, the intuitive and the logic. It's not one or the other, it's both. Another important point that I'm gonna to talk to you about is the keys. And this card is all about knowledge and wisdom. And the Hierophant holds the keys, the keys to knowledge, the keys to wisdom. And one of the keys is gold, and one of the keys is silver. Talking about the silver being in internal knowledge and the gold being external knowledge. So I could talk to you for forever about all the images in the card, but I wanted to cover two more things, which is the astrological sign, which is Taurus. And it's funny, you would think like, how does a religious figure relate to Taurus? Because Taurus tends to like some of the finer things in life. But if you think about it, Taurus is a fixed earth sign, extremely grounded, very rooted, and extremely practical in their approach. And the Hierophant is very reliable and very trusted in his dissemination of knowledge. He is the source and he is stable and he is unmoving in his devotion and dedication to get you that knowledge. So, and the other thing I'd like to point out is the number of the card, which is the number five. Now fives are all about adaptability and can sometimes be about instability and trying to find balance. Fives are also about curiosity, their intelligence, and most importantly, they are courage. So with that, I ask you, 
What are you learning about yourself through the Hierophant? Or what would you like to learn this year? I'll see you back at my blog.